everybody welcome to my youtube channel and today we're going to be talking about retention 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 so if everybody's in business um and you've been watching our series we've been talking about um you know starting the business getting it up and running you know having that ideal website um, having the traffic come through and now you're making sales okay now you're making the money now you got the money coming in you know and you want to keep that money flowing so I thought that it would be the perfect thing to talk about about how to keep that cash flow going and how to set retention so the first thing that you want to have to keep the momentum in your business going having retention um, is you want to have a good solid packaging okay so you know i always say presentation is key like people look at everything um i don't know if they're gifted like me okay like i'm very very attentive to detail you know when it comes to things so the way someone presents anything to me like i mean my birthday you know the way people do my nails you know the way i get my hair done like every little detail matters but it's even more like times a hundred times ten for me in business so when you're thinking about um, delivering your item or your product from your online boutique to that customer, you want to give them that wow moment. Um, so I'm going to speak about my brand in particular. So the first thing that I have, but if I, I, the first thing that I have is I have branded polymellers, okay? So of course you want to have the branded poly mailer and then to bring the retention, I have a small thank you card. You know, I got these off Amazon. I got like a hundred for like 25. I'll link the uh, comment in the description. But on the last video, I promised you guys I would tell you this as well. And I also have a thank you card that goes in the slip. Now, packaging is key for me. So as I tell y'all, y'all gonna learn real quick. I have real OCD. So this is how I package my things. I put them in the, the poly mailer, one outfit or two, right? Everything goes in the same direction. So the outfit goes into the same direction. The card, it goes, the words, they have to face the same way, okay? And the thank you card sits on top of the retention um, thank you card with the discount, okay? So the, the discount card is the most key. Okay, then I seal that up and I give it to them. You can even go as further as giving these um, young ladies or young men, whoever you're uh, catering to, you can go as further as writing, you know, thank you for supporting my business, making it just, a, you know, a little bit more intimate if you like. So you want to have that retention um, this discount code because that discount code makes them come back and makes you know people usually put it to the side maybe they have another event or maybe they have another item so just maybe like you can give them 15% off or you can give them 20% off um, I got the, those discount codes from Vistaprint as well um, postcards I got them they're always running the deal so you guys can go on there and sign up I know if you sign up with like Vistaprint they'll give you like 25% off for first new time buyers or something like that but I'll link um in the discount I'll link the uh postcards in the uh description for you guys as well you also when let's go a little bit in depth with these postcards okay so on the postcards you want to say a few things so some of the key things i says i have like our vip text message if they sign up for the text message alert there's a specific number i have there i have thank you of course because you want to tell them that you appreciate and value their business also we want to say thank you for your purchase and also on this card we ask them to leave a review that's a big key for retention for them to come back and for other new customers to easily come back as well because if they see reviews and they see that you're a trusted brand with integrity and you ain't just trying to scam nobody and get their money then they're going to come back so you also want to use um a discount code so we have a discount code here and we're offering them 15 percent off we also let them know that there is one use per customer um as well and that is very key as well because you don't want them to constantly 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 use the same discount code you want them to sign up for the text message alerts and you know and give in into those deals so you want to save that for your business one per customer and 
you also want to let them know we offer free fast uh, shipping for uni U.S. and Canada um, orders. And we also have a very, very key thing. You want to list every last social media that you have. So we're on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we're also on uh, Clubhouse, but that's not on there. We're on, Okay, so I'm going to talk about what's on here, okay? We are on Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, Snapchat, and also YouTube. And those are the one, those are all of our things, but we have all those listed here. It's very key that we have those listed here because we have on these retention cards, okay? We're going to call them retention cards. We have on the retention cards, tag us to be featured, okay? So everybody knows we're in this world of social media. I get a lot of my business from social media. It used to be word of mouth back in the day, but major like nine times out of 10, it is social media. So when I when we're asking them to tag us so that they could be future, feature in my business, I say, you know, tag, hashtag Aunt Yannick or tag us in your story so we can feature you. And it works. Ladies like to be seen. If it's their birthday, they like to be seen. If they're going out on a date, they like to be seen. If they know you got some clout on your page, they want to be seen. If they see other girls that's getting posted, they want to be posted. Now, trust me, I'm this is, people like attention, okay? And they like that feeling of that, like, you know, that feeling of fame that you give them. Oh, you know, she looks gorgeous in our dress. Look at our doll. She looks so pretty. Look at her looking bomb taking over in the streets. Like, that's what I do. You know, that's how I hype them up on my page. You know what I mean? And I really do mean that genuinely. You know, I really do mean that. But, like, you want to excite them so that they could feel a part of the brand and um, a part of the community. And most of my Yanni dolls, they feel that way. They feel that love. They feel that energy. And you want them, again, to tag. Because once they post you, like, oh, outfit from Yannick Boutique or outfit from Yannick, you know, you want their friends to be like, okay, what's Yannick? Let me see. She went there. She bought her something. What else they got? They got a sad smile. They got a large. She got that in blue. She pull up. Like, they do that all the time. So you want to make sure that you are doing everything. You want to have that uh, flow involved. Also, you want to also, you can also have retention from the flows that we talked about in the last video. And if you didn't watch my last video, go back to the last video. And we, we did a breakdown of flows that you should have that will catapult to your business, honey. So you can be in good operation. So you want to have the first flow that you want to have is that, um, the first purchase follow-up flow. That flow goes, um, for after 14 days of them making their purchase so we'll you know we'll lure them back in like hey you know um check out these new arrivals you also want to run campaigns you know you want to run campaigns through your so through your um campaign hosts like Clavio or postscript whichever you may use and you want to run those campaigns for emails and text messages both so that you can retarget those customers that purchase. Specifically, you want to let them, you know, you want to re-engage with them and let them know like, hey, we have this new arrival. Like this week, all of the people that purchased, we did segments um, for this new arrival that I have. We did segments for the last 30 days and for the history of women who's purchased with the brand to let them know, hey, we have a new arrival in um, and dresses. And, and that's how you get the eye. That's how you get their eyes back on the brand. That's what you want. You want them, you know, you're not here just to be here. Like you want them to know your presence. You want them to know that you're still going strong. You're still offering the most bomb, the most dope, the most beautiful outfits. You still are the ones that's going to uh, help them to act a fool when they step on the scene. And like I said, you can run campaigns through um, your SMS or your email. And you want to do that at least one time out the week okay at least one time you could do you could segment your list by 60 days so that would mean you know they will capture people that purchased in the last 60 days or that's added to the cart or had an abandoned checkout in the last 60 days or you can do in the last 30 and that's how you grab the retention as well to get their attention so that they can come back retention is so important because people who've purchased from you are already 
just money in the bank you're just finding another way you're finding a better mousetrap to lure them in you're finding a better mousetrap to get them in you know versus a new customer you're gonna have to spend more customer acquisition i'm mean, sorry customer acquisition costs to get it like facebook ads or google ads and why do that when you already have your customers in your database see this is why y'all need them flows going because i'm telling you we keep the data you keep the money flowing okay so you also I um, want to post as well on your social media. I post every every day, at least, I think at least three times a day, but I mainly post in my stories. One of the concepts that I learned from marketing is that your customers need to see your product at least seven times, at least seven times um, before they consider making a purchase with your brand. So that's why we see people like McDonald's, you know, constantly, you know, advertising the Big Mac to us. You know, or constantly advertising like their fry pays or something to us because they know if we keep seeing it, we're going to want it. So that's why I constantly share on Facebook. That's why I share in my stories. Um, that's why I, you know, send out uh, TikTok, my TikTok as well. I, I will reinvent. I'm always creating on TikToks. It may be the same clothes, but it's a different TikTok flow. It's a different TikTok um song behind it some type of different something people like to see visuals and that's another way that you can gain retention and keep the eyeballs right up on your business okay so you also when you're doing these retention methods i say when you're marketing you want to market what's new and what's highly anticipated and the only way you're going to find out what's new in your brand and what's highly intense uh, uh, what's highly anticipated is if you study your analytics i say study them by the last 60 days or the last 30 days whichever one works for you most bigger brands they do the last 30 um i've been doing the last 30 as well because i just like that freshness i something about having fresh eyes they you know they're more you know they're more um new customers are like more like geeked about the you know the brand versus 60 days they'd be like oh girl i've seen this already um you know you just don't want that so you try to i've been trying to get like that new freshness so the last 30 days also they have other ways where you can um have retention as well but these are more costly such as facebook ads um facebook ads has a way where they capture your customers pixels and then with the facebook ads it's like if somebody goes to your website right there you set up a facebook pixel pixel right um through shopify which is the platform i use and then once you set up the facebook pixel it will track whoever comes to the website if they add to the cart if they made a purchase before and then Facebook will retarget these people and that even will include people that purchase from your brand to bring them back. And then you can also make a lookalike audience based off the people that purchase with you. They'll make another audience that are people that are more than likely to purchase with you. But again, that goes down to your budget and how much you want to spend on customer acquisition. I'm talking about the organic ways where you can, well, I'm not going to say organic because Clay, Clavio does cost, but if you're doing Shopify, Shopify email is, is free. So, but Clavio does cost, I pay $25 for like 2,500 texts a month, but you can um, have retention with Clavio as well. And they work with Facebook too. They allow uh, you to segment the people that came to your website or the people that's in, already in your Clavio database. They let, Clavio allows you to segment that list to your facebook um as account so that you can retarget those people and then make a make another um look alike audience based off your already segment last 30 day people that you have in the brand already and then last but not least is you want to do a loyalty program okay loyalty programs are key as well because there are different um apps on um on uh on Shopify that I use one is called um, smile and I use smile their loyalty program and you basically use this loyalty program to get your customers to refer and there are different ways that they can earn points off for their next purchase so that you can I have certain things like follow us on Facebook to earn 100 points um, enter your birthday to earn 500 points um, Here's your discount code. Uh, refer a friend and get $5 off and your friend will get $5 off. And these are also ways to have money in the bank. People like to save money and then they also like to earn points. You know, they like to feel, you know, like they're a part of something. So 
if you guys like this begin please 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 um like subscribe and follow us for more tips and if you have like some you know some tips of your own or some questions please drop them in the comments drop a heart let us know that you have watched and follow and share this video you know share it to a uh inspiring boutique owner or online boutique owner thank you so much for uh watching god bless and y'all have a good day level up level up level up level up level up